were just at the boardwalk. I screamed down a baby ride. <laughs> yeah. It was just like a little kitty ride and she screamed all over mine. Now I, I went on the boardwalk bullet. It's amazing. Anyhow. So I guess we'll see. I remember you. stop riding it. Yeah. I guess I'll see you whenever we get to NASA. So we're here at NASA. Hi! Is a country girl. Why Maybe sleeping. Oh, by the way, here's a tip. Astros you up ever get to play in the ball pit? Nobody Don't play in the ball pit. Don't. Last time we came here, a little boy peed. Wait, a little boy? A little boy. And so we'll see you whenever we end up. We're in the building. Yes, air conditioner. Yes. yes. You don't. You don't want to see. You don't want to see us suffocate. Are you okay? We'll be back whenever we're in the building. We're trying to get inside. And there's there's an astronaut. Okay. Later. So we're here. We're in NASA. We just took a picture with astronaut. I don't know. Take boat. Because this is the actual jet pack they use. Oh, look at the duct tape boat, guys. This is the duct tape boat. It's the actual stuff. This is the duct tape boat. What is this? <laughs> Look, at this. this is like their office. The dummy. Cool. Ruben. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm glowing. There's another one over there. I'm glowing. Oh, my God. Method too. Can anyone name any, any other parts of the science? I'm not even got to dodge a 
Test, yeah? Like an experiment? Anything else? Conclusion? Yeah, those are great parts of the scientific method. Now, when we ask if a person can dodge a paintball, not everyone raised their hand. Who thinks maybe someone can dodge a paintball? <laughs> Christy? Uh, yeah, why do you think so maybe Daddy. someone can dodge a paintball? Daddy. Daddy good. They can be faster? Yeah, they can, they can depend on many different things. Like, it can depend on distance, for example. Like, if I was standing two feet in front of the paintball gun, do you think I'd be able to dodge it? No, no way. But if I was standing a hundred times farther away, let's say two football fields, would I have a better shot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, before we start shooting for science, we need to plan an experiment that takes its pens out of the equation. In the scientific world, is known as controlling the variables. Now, we can control most of our variables here with our paintball gun. It always fires at the same speed of 250 feet per second or 175 miles per hour. Now, it's built, it's built into this floor exactly 25 feet away from the target and it has a built-in delay, so it will always fire between 0.1 and 1.0 seconds after we push the button. Now, by changing this delay, we can see no. the paintball being fired from a longer distance. Here, Jasmine, let me show them what we're talking about. Alright, so if we wanted to give someone 25 feet of reaction distance, we would leave the paintball gun as it is without giving it any extra delay. So that way, whenever I press this button, it fires immediately afterwards. And now, if we wanted to simulate a longer distance of, say, 250 feet, I can so easily unbolt this machine and move it to a farther distance. So instead, all we do is just crank up that delay time to a full 1.0 seconds. So now, after I push the button, one more time. it takes a full second for that paintball to reach the gong. Now the time it takes this paintball to reach the gong is the same time it would take an actual paintball to travel 250 feet. So we can change, them. we can control the paintball variables, but what we can't control is the person's reaction time. So we want the fastest Mythbuster to be dodging our paintball. So for the show, we found three brave volunteers. Audience, please give a warm, warm, warm round of applause for our volunteers today. Thank you. Thank you. Go girl! Alright, so we're going to give our volunteers our buzzers. Now these buzzers are going to help us see their reaction times. Right. So, we're going to give them a special yeah, and once yes, that cue starts, a timer will start. Go up that timer here. will stop as soon as they Go push those buttons. Alright, so I would like to point out that our paintball gun machine here has two different cues. It has a light cue that looks like this, and it has a sound cue that sounds like this. Now, we need, to, we need to use each cue with our Mythbusters in order to see which one they respond to quicker today. Alright, so see that's the interesting thing about science. Is we're always finding new experiments to do and new hypotheses to ask. So who thinks we're going to react faster to a light cue? Alright, and now who thinks we're going to react faster to a sound cue? Well, it looks like most people thought we'd react quicker to a light cue. Well, that's a reasonable hypothesis. Let's test it out. Alright, so are you ready to test the light cube? Yes, but first, audience, I would like to point out that you all have buzzers of your own. They're right underneath your seats. They're invisible. But don't worry, they're just as fun to play with. Everybody, let's test them together. Three, two, one. Perfect. Alright, let's test the light cube. Don't forget, whenever you see the light, hit the buzzer as quick as you can. Alright, here's test number one, light cube. All right, that was great. Uh, what were the results, Jeffrey? Well, it looks like our fastest was green with a reaction time of 0.3 seconds. And an overall average of 0.55. All right, great results. Let's test out the sound cue and see what we can get this time. Come on, Esther! All right, so we're ready to test the sound cue. All right, we're ready. Don't forget, when you hear the sound, hit the buzzer as quick as you can. All right, test number two, sound cue. All right, great. What were the results this time? Well, looks like the fastest was green again. <laughs> and an overall average of 0.4. All right, great. So we did some tests, and what did we find out? Was our hypothesis right? Did a person react quicker to a light cube versus a sound cube? Well, this case was very interesting because we actually had a tie. 
So, and today we also find out that Green had the fastest time. So, great job, audience. Let's give him a big round of applause. Woo! All right, now to test our results, we have our crew member Allison today. She's going to try to dodge a paintball. Okay, so we just got out of the theater and now we're going to do something else. Yeah. We got a bunch of ice cream. See you whenever we do something else. I don't think I said, but we went to the pier. I'm so tired. I went on the Iron Shark. It's amazing. Anyway, we found like favorite rides. She didn't go on much. But she was sick. She felt sick. But she did get this. It's a little snake. We are gonna go on the ferry back to Galveston. I mean, we're in Galveston. I meant Crystal. Crystal Beach. We're not going to. We're not going to. We're not. We're not going to. Hold that iris for a second. Yeah. We're just going to Crystal. Yeah. Wait, we're not in Houston anymore. No, we're in Houston. No, we're in Galveston. Anyway, that's my seat. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I think I'm gonna end this here. We're gonna go on the ferry, but I don't think we're gonna get out.